Hey, how's it going, awesome humans? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make tiny planets or small planets. It starts with a, a panorama, and a lot of people don't realize that you can actually just take a regular photo. Uh, it takes a little bit more work, actually a lot more work. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but you, uh, you double your picture, flip it reverse, and kind of blend it together, and then make your tiny planet. So it's really, really cool. And what they look like in the end is this, 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 and this. So roll that intro. So first I'm gonna take this ordinary uh, storm photo and to me it is a, it's interesting just because of the storm but it's not framed how I really wanted to frame it. Uh, it's one of the, it's one of the, that was destined for the recycle bin here and I took that and basically I copied it, and I'm gonna outline this here quick. Copied it, doubled the width, uh, made a canvas that was double the width of the photo, and then copied it and pasted it, flipped it, and put it back together. And here you can see I have, I started uh, seaming it together a little bit, but I'm gonna finish that right here. I'm gonna use the uh, clone stamp tool and clean it up a little better than that. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can, uh, you can actually wait until uh, it's combined to do this stage, but I'm just going to clean it up a tiny, tiny bit here, and I'll probably clean it up again when uh, it's all together. Again, if you think this looks cool, uh, you might want to wait until the end to see if you need to fix it. And you can see this is one continuous photo. What I did was, uh, after it's combined, you can split it again, cut, paste, and then take it over here. So you already know it's seamed together on that end. Now you want to seam it together on this end. And you can see I already did it. It's already a, a perfect seam there. Uh, so what you want to do, you just want to make sure that it's good. And I'm just going to combine those. I'm going to leave my background off, combine those. Uh, here's another step. You need to make sure that it the image mode is 8-bit. Uh, Photoshop won't do this with 16-bit for some reason, so you just keep it at 8-bit. I already had it at 16, so I had to switch to 8-bit. Now, you just go up here to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. Now you just go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. And it'll ask you rectangular to polar or polar to rectangular. We're going to do rectangular to polar because we have a rectangular photo. And then you just click OK. Just make a new document and make it square. And I'm going to go with 6,000 by 6,000. And I'm going to take this and copy it. And you can see that's a lot larger. You don't need to lock the, uh, the dimensions. You just drag it, size it until it fits in the square. And then make it fill the square. And then basically right there you have your tiny planet. And I'm going to flip this one right side up here so it looks so it looks a little better. Uh, you can do this any which way you want. You can edit it after this if you don't really want it to be a circle, but this is the whole point to make a tiny planet here. And because of those clouds, that boring picture all of a sudden looks awesome, I think anyhow. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and fix your seam. And you can see both of my seams here were already fixed. And there's two seams because I copied and pasted one photo twice and inverted the direction of it. Uh, and ordinarily, you only have one seam. So now I'm going to go with a panorama that is a panorama, and I'm going to copy, copy that, flip it upside down, go to polar coordinates. Now there's a ginormous seam, seam right there. So I'm going to just show you how to get rid of that ahead of time because this is one of those that. Really, there's no good way to fix it afterwards. So I'm going to just control Z and get rid of that. So what I'm going to do here is it doesn't have to be dead center. I'm just going to split this and then cut, paste. And this is the same as what I showed you in the first one. Just drag her over here, put this one back over here. And as you can see, it's not in agreement with what I want to do. So I have to do maybe some cloning, some erasing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this a little bit so I can erase right here. 
and I'm gonna erase the top layer a little bit to blend those clouds together. I'm gonna work my way down here. And all of a sudden, it starts to work with me a little better. Now I'm gonna bring that together. And now I'm gonna clone stamp. I actually might just copy this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the uh, lasso tool, 15, pic 15 pixels, just do a rough, just circle it. And I'm gonna leave the little creek there out of it. Flip that horizontal. This is a lot quicker than cloning everything in, and then I can just erase away what I don't want. And if you wanted to, you could use a, a layer mask on this. I'm just gonna erase. I'm gonna zoom in there and clean that up a little bit more. Now I can flip it upside down, and that seam is already that seam's already fixed. And I may fix it a little bit more after. Sometimes you'll find that you fix it once and then you gotta fix it again. Uh, but we'll see what it looks like once I flip this upside down and do the polar coordinates. Here we go again. I'm gonna make it six thousand by six thousand. Copy that. Basically, the, the important thing in this is you need to make sure that you have a lot of sky and make sure that nothing's really extends past, past the sky in the picture because if, if it does, then you might it might not look right. And this one, I think I'm actually going to make it a little larger. You can see there's a farm over there. Farm ended up on top and all the trees and bushes ended up on the bottom. But I'm going to zoom out here and try to keep it as square as I can. Now it looks more like there's a kind of a funnel effect here. I'm gonna zoom in on this so you can see it. Looks pretty darn cool. Uh, if you want, you can see how all the ends come together here at this point. You can put something there also, like a patch of grass or something. Uh, sometimes you can just get it from another photo, like a patch of grass, and just kind of put that in there. But uh, most of the time, it just looks really cool coming outward like that, and that's all there is to it, basically. The easiest way to do this is to start, obviously, with a, a nice wide panorama and make sure there's a lot of sky, uh, at least 50-50. And if there are trees or buildings or anything like that, just make sure it doesn't go to the top of the photo because it might have to Photoshop that out and it might, might give you a little more work, might not even look right. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, every single day, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. See you next time.